and they call it the Crusher, one of the latest creations from the folks at DARPA. It's all coming up next on Around the Services. And still ahead here on Around the Services, ladies and gentlemen, meet the Crusher. We'll have the story next, but first, here's a look at your Space A weather forecast. A few years ago, Congress mandated that at least a third of all military ground vehicles be autonomous or operable without direct human control by 2015. So the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, has been going full throttle in pursuing that goal, funding a number of robotic projects geared to helping the warfighter. Sergeant Rusty Barfield tells us more about the Crusher. Take one look at DARPA's latest creation, and you think, Where's the top half? Because no one has to sit in it, so you don't have to accommodate somebody sitting up. Meet the Crusher. As you can see, it's a ground combat vehicle, but with a twist. The job is to get from point A to point B, and it does it with no help from a human operator. In a recent test, the Crusher traveled five kilometers without its hand being held at all. Well, the vehicle itself has a whole suite of perception devices on it, and it will make real-time corrections for whatever is in front of it. The robot will not only learn from its environment, but research at Carnegie Mellon plan on making the crusher part of a whole fleet of autonomous vehicles. One problem that, that we have as humans is that each of us has to learn separately, so we all have to go to school. But the great thing about the, uh, the machine learning is that when one machine learns it, we can basically take that information and just transmit it to all the machines. They all learn it at once. Not only will the Crusher share its newfound knowledge, it can traverse uncharted territory, perfect for missions where you wouldn't want soldiers leading the way. And this vehicle can go, has great mobility. It can go forward in a dangerous situation, find terrain that, that uh, it can cross, and then once it finds a safe path, the manned vehicle can follow. But the Crusher is just a test platform. Engineers are using the Munster robot to figure out what a real robotic vehicle will need to do, from reconnaissance to actual combat. They believe the Crusher gets the military one step closer to having ground-based robots join the fight. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I, I can't give a precise date, but it's, it's going to happen. And when it does, the warfighter will be safer, with unmanned vehicles going where no soldier should have to go. Tech Sergeant Rusty Barfield, Pentagon Channel News. And the Crusher leverages off a number of recent breakthroughs, including hybrid technology. So the Crusher can get power not just from its gas tank, but from onboard batteries as well. And that's it for this edition of Around the Services. From everyone at the Pentagon Channel, thank you for joining us.